I am just trying to get a little footage of you doing the thing you love most. Perhaps most in the whole world. <laughs> I can't see your smile, but I know you're smiling underneath no. your your mask. No? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you uh, figuring out how that works? I thought I would do a little footage and we could we could look at it and see how we liked it. Yeah. Well... What are you doing here? My four directions polish is usually what I use on flat slabs because if you polish the piece in orienting it in all four directions, it gets the brightest shine. Is that true? That's true. Wow. All the four directions polish. But on these all on these uh, contour surfaces, all bets are off, and you just have to look. Can you show me what what you mean by a contour surface, there? I'm gonna zoom it's in. A, it's a curved surface, so it's not flat. So um, there's probably more like seven or eight directions on a contour surface. So oh yeah, huh? If if not more. So a flat one, you use the four directions, and on on the contour, you just do like yeah, everything you I can think of. I just look at almost. it, and I have to do many different directions on it. Let's see. Try to get it off. How can you tell when the, there's all that goop on there? What it looks like? Oh, I just brush it off and. Yeah. And, uh, Let me see what you working on there. What is that? An obsidian? That's a that's a rainbow obsidian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, I'm gonna tip it so that the camera can see the colors. There, I can see the color a little bit. Very nice. Yeah, it's, uh, Is that one you collected? Yeah, that's the one I dug, and uh, I'm just polishing it up because I think uh, that somebody might be coming up for it pretty soon. Yeah, somebody's yeah. gonna like it. It's got some. Somebody's gonna love it, actually. It's got a little bit of reds and some pastels in there, uh -huh. so it's not the most awesome, but. Well, I think it's really piece. pretty. Yeah. So that's what I'm up to. So that's water to keep. If if you don't keep it wet, what happens? You have to you have to keep it right in that uh, zone between wet and dry. So I don't put too much water on it, or else the thing just slides and slides. But when it's right in that zone between wet and dry, it starts to grab, and you can feel it. It wants to pull the rock out of your hands just mm -hmm. about. It's, it's grabbing it. And that's when the polish is doing its best work. And if it's too dry, it would just stop. If it's too dry, it's not really wheel. polishing. It's just, uh, once again, the wheel's just sort of sliding off of it. Okay. It has to it has to be right in that zone between wet and dry and where it's kind of grabbing it, and you'll feel that grab on it. Hmm. And uh, that's when you know. And then it dries out. And just starts to slide and it's not grabbing as much anymore and then you know it's time to spray it again and, and re-wet it in. Uh -huh. And what's this powder that you put on this slurry mix here? What what's in it? It's uh it's it's tin oxide basically. Hmm. And it's supposed to be good for like, you know And it's powdered and you just put a little water in it? Yeah, you yeah. just put a little water in it. The grains are pretty small and they're supposed to be about a micron or two and they get right in there and smooth out all the saw scratches or all the sanding scratches. And is it is it poisonous? Is that why you wear the mask? Yeah, it just kicks up some dust and I breathe enough rock dust. So, so I'm trying to wear the mask to just keep the dust out of my lungs. It's not poisonous necessarily, but it's probably not good to breathe a lot of it either. Right. So. Well, you look very Darth Vader-ish. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and no I problem. see you have an assistant. No or I hear the assistant. Is Where is the assistant? <laughs> There's the assistant. <laughs> Cream. She gives a lot of advice, it seems. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's uh, telling you to get back to work. Is that it? Her advice is uh, generally centered upon the sourness of life in the garage. It's probably their time to go out, time to come in, time to yeah. eat. The bitterness that, that things just aren't on the right schedule ever for her. Yeah. Food bowl's always empty. Yeah. The door's always closed. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that interesting little lesson in rock polishing. And...
Uh, this is Scott Blair from Scott's Rockin' Gym. Signing off. Say goodbye. See you later.